Hey guys, how's it going? Blueset here. Welcome to a brand new episode of episode 22 of Blueset's Adventures in Minecraft. What are we going to be doing today? Well, I said previously in the last episode that we we're going to be doing something over there, but I want to fix what is happening here. And it turns out there is an easy fix. It just turns out I need to actually put some a necessity in the build here. And that is to put transparent blocks, in this case glass, over um, here. Because there's a chance that spiders and zombies and skeletons actually will spawn in this zone. You know, in and out of the uh, area. So what I want to do is make it so that each side actually has a proper area which I can actually call you know a safe zone that way you know nothing really uh... oh. yeah sorry for the noise guys but yeah And also, too, I had to set it to peaceful because of the spiders and zombies and stuff spawning in this area. Now, I'm not getting everything set out, but so far, this is a close enough of a stuff got measure to prevent spiders and the such from spawning. At least, hopefully. Now, I also want to put in... Uh, glass up top as well to do the exact same thing. I said to peaceful, like I said, to prevent monsters from spawning because I'll be working in here for a while. Okay, so this looks about proper, hopefully. This will prevent one section from having spires to spawn. Let's. Oh, what am I doing? I have slabs here. All right. And okay. Because it's like that, I can actually see and thus you guys can see what's going on. Okay. So basically, yes, this will help prevent spiders from spawning. So long as, so far as I can understand this, one side is taken care of, you shouldn't, in this case, shouldn't, in a very hypothetical sense, have to worry about, you know, spiders, in this case, from spawning all over the place. Already, I am back. Wow, I really yelled on that one. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I am back, and here we are back at the uh, witch farm. And let me bring the video setting back to bright so that way you can see. I was looking at several things, and I noticed that I couldn't see through post production, so I do apologize on that. Now, then. Looking over at everything, this looks good. Put in all the glass in the areas. I happened to miss a few spots, fixed all that, and a bit of lag happening, but that's because of all the string rendering. I do apologize for that. But it does work. It eliminates all of the spider problems. And that's pretty much about it. And, of course, we still have... Regular monsters spawning in there. Don't really understand why that's actually happening. Don't really know. All I know is that it's rather annoying and it needs to be taken care of. And holy crap. What's happening? It's just all of a sudden it's just 12 frames at something. Wow. Entities? Well, holy crap. 93 or almost 100 entities? What's going on? Well, looks like I'm going to need to be exploring uh, caves soon. 
In fact, that's probably what the one thing I will do is go and hunt down some caves. And of course, clearing off the rest of the lands here because it still has yet to be completed. Yes. All right, let me go ahead and uh, take care of all this. Oh, okay, Richard. What are you doing? Yes, I know I love you. Anyways, let me go ahead and take care of this. And... What? Oh, crap. Alrighty. So, of things that need to be done in the farm here, uh, except for a few minor things, which is more of a nuisance, because I tried filling in certain areas, turns out witches don't spawn at with certain block placements, I figured, why not just go about and do something? Now, the what I need to do is get a storage area set up and I'm thinking of actually upgrading the current system into a drop system and that drop system does need to re uh, require some a dropper system which is fine you know I got plenty of redstone and cobblestone you know thanks to this farm I got plenty of that I'm going to need a plenty of load of sticks which I believe I have some sticks still in my ender chest <clears throat> no, I don't. Okay. Oh, yeah. Move the beds around and whatnot, so that way um, it'll help mitigate the uh, the amount of issues one will have. I'll just put one there. You can still see we get... Oh, that's, that's odd. I must have put that in there. Huh. But, yeah, we're getting a bunch of glowstone and gunpowder and, of course, run flesh. Good for uh, villages. Oh, we have some witches just popped up. Yay! It does work. Alright. Now, the reason why I need the cobblestone and stuff is because I need to have droppers. Now, I don't have uh, ice. One of the things I do need is ice. And that's the major thing I need to make, is a ice farm. And where's the rest of my cobblestone? There's some. And there's the rest. Okay. That's more than plenty than what I need. So basically, all I need is to make bows. In fact, oops. Let's see, just make a three there, move it like so into a lesser sign, and put it like there. There you go. Now we need 15, and that's what we're going to get. Quite a lot, actually. And I can start putting in the amount because I saw a very impressive uh, build by Azumavoid about a, uh, let's see here trying to think top of my head uh, ice farm you know basically he calls it the ice tray I saw that and I'm like you know what that's actually pretty awesome just having it like that you know sounds like a perfect thing to do in fact let me add one more because I need a dropper for one of the materials Yes. All right. Yeah, by far the most expensive, uh, at least so far up to date, as of right now, the most expensive uh, materials done. You know, I mean, it's just, yeah pretty much make a ice farm because I don't have ice. I need ice. And I'm going to need silk touch and of course various other woods. Now what I want to do is use let's see here. I don't have acacia because that's what he actually used. So instead I'll use 
Let's see, I'm not sure about dark oak. Oh, let's use birch. We're going to use a bunch of birch and... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. We are going to need to make pistons. We're going to need to make a whole ton of pistons for this. Because pistons has a certain appearance, and I want to use that uh, appearance. In fact, if I were to go and do this and craft one and see what I'm looking for. Just for a second here. Oh, wait. Wrong material. And just a regular piston. Don't need to be stickied. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you what. Okay. And what the dispenser will look like. Um, let's see here. Okay, facing upward. Okay, that will work. That will work like wonders. Okay, that will work to perfection of what I want to do. All right. So basically, what I <coughs> oh excuse me. What I need to do now is head over to an area which I can actually go and do so, and I need to collect the water buckets that I have laying about. Okay, well I have buckets. I Pretty much that's as much as I'm going to need. I don't need a whole bunch, but I do need 15 and I need to fill them with water eventually. So let me head to one place I know I need to do, and of course... Oh, spider. It's one of the issues here is a spider spawning in there. That's the only issue with this, is that spiders will spawn in there. Even though I have taken care of the issues, it, they still will. Okay, there we go. I was going to say lag. Lag. And, of course, we got the rails in for the connection here. It's actually pretty short of a walk, but I want to make sure that, you know, if you do want to, you can ride down through there. And the one place I do want to go about and make it happen happens to be, you guess it, right next to the base. I know, right? Now, we are going to need a lot more materials, such as more, uh, oh, yeah, we're going to need more materials, such as more uh, pistons for what I want to do. Now, uh, of course, we got plenty of birch. Aha! There's the rest of that. In fact, that's the 15 buckets I need. Good job. All right. Uh, a bit laggy. I haven't been back here in a while. It's a pretty area. All right. Let me grab all of the birch, all the materials I will need for this. And I'll be right back. All right, it is daytime. We can actually now venture out here. I need to work on this area. But, oh wow, there's some soul sand. Actually, I don't need any more soul sand. But anyways, we are needed to head up here. This area has been heavily modified, but we need to head up here anyways. So, let's go ahead and do so. This area gets snowy, so that means... Well, that's not going to get us anywhere. Here we go. So that means we can actually get a very proper system. And look, it's really nearby. We can get up here and do our setup. Right. Uh, let's see here. Where to put it? Probably over here, but that means we're going to need to do something about this. Actually, no, over here will be fine. In fact, how will we be able to get over there? Uh, oh, okay. I didn't know it goes around. I need to plant those. Okay, so probably a cutting through the mountain will probably be it. 
Otherwise, going around seem reasonable. Some areas don't have snowfall on them. So I just want to make sure I don't hit a area where there is going to be no snow. Hmm. I really haven't explored back here, have I? No, I haven't. Oh well, this will be a good area, so let me go ahead and do the initial layout and uh, set up here. Woohoo, snowballs. Okay. So, be right back with all the uh, setup here. Well, we finally have it all done. And quite frankly, it is nighttime. Unfortunately, the issue I'm having is a bit of a conundrum right now. Basically, when I actually sent the cart back from this, you know, watching through Ozuma Voids as well, he had the same problem as well. The, the area where all the droppers or, or yeah, dispensers are at uh, freeze up. So I got an issue with that. So I have to figure out a way to go about and do this. Yes, it's on peaceful, I know. But I don't exactly feel like getting uh, butt raped by uh, zombies and skeletons. Oh my. So what I need to do is actually go about and make more uh, sticky pistons. Because sticky pistons is exactly what I need to use. But I need to figure out a way to actually implement it where it covers the area, but doesn't uh, necessarily actually make an issue. So I'm thinking top lock up here be a uh, perfect solution. You know, just one block above it, probably same level as that. And that probably, and I do mean probably, be the best I can probably can do. Got plenty of birch as it is. Okay, this would be good. Yeah, this high, and I need a way to actually have uh, all this set up where it will be taken care of. And right now, I don't need a corner on this one. And since this is going to be on this row, we can continue on this way to, oops, here. Now right there, that's a good patch. And we're going to need to have some pistons in here. And I think repeaters. There's going to be a lot of repeaters. As far as I know, I need to have a certain amount. In fact, if I just use one sticky piston and a bunch of slime blocks, I think I can figure out a way to actually make it work. I think least amount versus most amount. I think that's the route I'm going to be facing. In fact, oh, can't do that. Hmm. Okay, you can. Okay, cool. So four sticky uh, slime blocks. Okay, that is cool. Love that sound. Now, as far as I know, it could actually push, what, 12? I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, figure this out real quick. So, be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Just training for the slime farm. As you can see, the slimes, or at least the slime blocks. And it is pretty dark in this area. In fact, let's brighten up. There we go. It is snowing. I do apologize. In fact, I probably can solve that very quickly. That doesn't work. Okay, well, whatever. I guess that doesn't work. Used to be a setting in here where it shows uh, weather elements. I guess not. But yes, it does work. It does work, but it is slow work. And I found out a way to get the water sources from freezing when you set out. Basically what you do is you hit this lever, pushes all of them out, 
And then you hit the button, and it'll go through, activate it, and then you wait for a little bit for the waters to actually uh, get uh, into source blocks, and then you press this button again, and it'll come right back. And of course, once you're done, you just flip the lever back, and there you go. You get the entire area to be freezing again. In fact, the redstone for it is actually right underneath here. It goes all the way from here to all the way to over here and activates this. Well, if I can get down. Okay. This uh, power rail. This power rail actually gets power from the button again. Doesn't matter if it's wooden or stone. Either way, and it'll come right back. You don't need to have redstone uh, blocks over here because these. Activator rails activate the power rails, giving the power for the power rails, which is by far pretty good. In fact, I just realized something. I don't need to have that there if I have one there. Uh oh. Well, that's what happens when you have too good of a uh, pickaxe. Especially Silk Touch. Eh, the sound of rain. Rather like the sound of uh, snow. Which is actually a very pretty sound. You know, it's very, very gentle. And quiet. So you don't really get that much when it comes to uh, all that. And my computer is a bit lagging because of all the particle effects from... Oh, come on. There we go from the snow and I do apologize I did not bring a bed with me if I had in fact yeah I'm not sure whether or not to actually have hmm now that I think of it Just realize, don't need that either because it will have still momentum coming through from here to there. So, okay, that's less redstone in the uh, system. Okay, well, that's pretty much about it. Unfortunately, I have to end this video. We are starting to come up to be uh, right at limit. Well, limit for me because I want to actually get back to the habit of having half an hour videos. So that's pretty much about it. I will say one thing that this does look good. And yes, I had to set it to peaceful because I don't feel like uh, setting everything up for uh, torches. And besides, torches is pretty boring. And I didn't bring a bed with me. So yeah. In fact, oh god, the snow. There we go. In fact... Later on in an episode, I'll definitely, yes, that's a screenshot, I will definitely clean this all up, make it pretty, at least hopefully I'll try. But anyways, that's pretty much about it. If you like this, leave a like, dislike if you dislike it, leave a comment, and of course if you haven't already, please subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.